still 7 o'clock in the morning and we're just getting ready to drive to Penang which is approximately 350 kilometers away from where we live um, so the aim of today's drive really well we're going away for a holiday but also to see how does this car actually perform when it comes to battery efficiency range comfort now i understand that you've probably seen plenty of videos of range tests of the tesla model 3 but in today's video i would like to focus on a realistic driving cycle so including toilet brakes rest stops, charging stops if required, so we will not drain the battery down to zero and top up as required. So it'll be very interesting to see by the end of this drive how much battery that we use and more importantly what is the efficiency that we can achieve. Let's um, pack our luggage, load it into the car and we we'll start our drive soon. driving for 111 kilometers and the efficiency as it says on the trip computer is 127.9 128.1 I can't I can't believe it I mean how is this car so efficient like there's three of us in the car the air conditioning is running at 22 and a half degrees Celsius not even driving slowly I mean I've been following the speed a bit when it says 90, I'm driving at 90. When it says 110, I'm driving at 110 and with all the pilot engaged most of the time. So I'm literally just sitting here. We're going to pull into the rest stop in about 15 minutes from now. So we'll, we'll check in and give you a bit more details about our drive up until so far. <music> So we just arrived at uh, Tapa rest stop and uh, currently plugging in charging my car using a TNB Electron um, charger so because there's also another car charging on the side which means that I only get 84 kilowatts of charging power and the rate here is not the cheapest as well it runs for 2 ringgit and 35 cents per minute it's a rather expensive charger I've charged it for about 10 minutes because I arrived with 65% charge and it's now at 80% so I'm going to unplug it move my car because it's charging by the minute by the time we have finished our breakfast it will take about 40 minutes and the charging cost is going to be ridiculous so I'm going to un unplug the charger now and move my car to a normal parking Until we can see the view turn right here and right after we enter the tunnel and come out on the other side it will be a constant downhill and we will see later on once we exit the tunnel when the downhill section starts then we will see how much battery that we can actually regenerate at the end of the downhill section but now it's 68 percent charge there's a speed camera coming up and you can already see it's beginning to regen it's starting to charge the battery at the moment the, the auto steer is a bit twitchy I can feel it's constantly trying to correct the steering still charging a battery at the moment you can see over here we are generating quite a bit of power it's still downhill so we just wait until we reach the end of uh, the downhill section curvature assist active just braking the car a little 
very conservative, I have to say, because it's now doing 60. I mean, one the reason is a truck in front. Um, but it's being very, very conservative with, with the speed when it's entering the corner. Okay, so we have reached the end of the downhill section. So now it's just coasting and slightly accelerating. And um, yeah, we actually charge 1% from the downhill. And the average consumption so far, 215 kilometers of driving so far, we consume an average of 126.3 one hour per kilometer. Or 127.5 if you consider the past 300 kilometers. So, yeah, very promising because we have been driving not slowly at all. We were driving at highway speeds all the time and to have this sort of consumption is just it's amazing so right now we're at Gunung Samango charging station and uh, we're just charging our car at the moment. This is a 47 kilowatt hour DC charger um, by Charge EV. We still have about 55% battery, but I thought that we all needed some uh, toilet break. That's why we're doing a quick, probably a 10 minute stop. Uh, we will charge it up to whatever percent, and then we'll continue our journey on um, all the way to Penang. No more stops until we arrive at our destination. Finally got to Penang um, after 358.1 kilometers. We've consumed 46.5 kilowatt hour of charge with an average efficiency of 130 watt hour per kilometer, which is wow, wow, very, very impressive. Um, so let me just do some mathematics here so just to clarify that this is the tesla model 3 rear wheel drive version that is assembled in gigafactory shanghai in china and is sold in the european market as well as the asian pacific market so it has um, a battery capacity of 60 kilowatt hour of which 57 and a half is usable so if we take um 46.5 and divided by 57.5 we get 81 percent which means that realistically speaking if i don't stop at any of the charges just then i can still make it with plenty of charge remaining it's insanely efficient like there's three of us in the car i mean i just want to reiterate there's three of us in the car um, there uh, we have air conditioning blasting at 22 degrees celsius it's currently 34 degrees out there so we're putting a whole lot of strain, um, not just on the battery, but also on electric motor. And the car just, just handles it so well. Yeah, very impressed overall. And yeah, looking forward to my journey in Penang. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, I thought the video would have stopped when we arrived in Penang, but just a side thought that 130 watt hour per kilometer is crazy enough guess what um, we're now sort of two-thirds the way back to KL and um, I would just flip my camera around we have done 284 kilometers and we have an average of 123.3 watt hour per kilometer um, again we're not even driving slowly we were driving at 110 and on the last sort of 20, 30 kilometers of the journey, I was driving 120, 130. Um, so we're not driving slowly at all. And you can see air conditioning at 22, and it is about 32 to 34 degrees Celsius out there. 
So if I show you the energy chart, um, I'll show you right it because that is throughout the entire drive. Um, 284 kilometers that we have consumed 60.1%. That is wow, that is just <laughs> what they have created here is the new standard, I would say. As you can see, the past 300 kilometers, uh, so if you start from about here, about 280. Uh, we've consumed an average of 125.6 days, including the tiny portion here, which uh, is our drive in Penang. So, very, very impressive. Um, and yeah, I suppose that this is really the end of the video. And thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.